guys. Um, welcome to yet another episode of Horrible Decisions. And as you guys know, um, we have been going through um, quite some turmoil over the last couple of weeks. Well, they might not know. Um, I th- a lot of people know, I think. Um, there's been other podcasts that have spoken on us as a duo in this podcast. Um, there's also been quite some stir in the social media realm between Instagram and Twitter. Um, we're very... Um, open, as you guys know, this has been a podcast where we've opened up, um, about a lot of intimate details with ourselves. And as you guys know, and as you guys have pointed out, not only on YouTube, but also in the comments and in the blogs, you guys sent some tension between us. Um, so with what's been transpiring over the last two weeks, we did not want to keep you guys out of the loop. I do want to say before we start this episode that we are not going anywhere. Hopefully. Um, We are going to stand strong. I know that we have changed a lot of people's lives with this platform, and we want to continue doing that. Um, But unfortunately, before we get to keep doing that, um, there are some things that we just kind of want to work through. And we decided, since we are so open um, with our very intimate details within our life, that we open it up and let you guys in on it, since we have on Instagram Live and our tweets and everything else. Well, I don't feel that way. Um, I want to let everybody know that I don't feel like this should have been something that we did. I do want to say that I think that because me and you have talked about doing mediation on our own, that it's not everybody's business. But if you want to keep them in the loop, I'm only here because, like I said, you you want this. But I really don't feel like it's any of y'all's business, business at all. I'm appreciative that you're here, but I feel I take therapy very serious. And to me, this is th- free therapy. And I'm more excited because you're female, excuse me, a woman and black. But I just think that I don't really care what anyone has to say about what we have going on. I care a lot about what you have to say and your feelings. And I feel like this almost makes it a little more of a mockery because we allow people to be in on something that's so personal to us as far as our business. Could it not be a mockery and and something that's actually modeled? Because from what I gather and what I have had exposure to, your back and forth on social media is unprofessional it's not kind it's not thoughtful i agree and 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 that's a mockery of the work that you do so this is actually something altogether different it's about trying to understand each other the underlying reasons why there is so much conflict and others can learn from it we're not going to dig too deeply i am here for literally just another 57 minutes sure Mm -hmm. so Before we start, let me introduce myself. Yes, please. My name is Dr. Petty Ford, but I've been referred to as, I want to call myself some lady, Dr. Some Lady, because I actually heard uh, the podcast that you were on the other day. Yeah. And you said that you would prefer for Van or a friend rather than some lady to uh, provide you all with mediation. (laughs) And so that to me says it, it. On air? Yeah. What would make them more qualified? I don't think that it's necessarily about qualifications. I'm sure that you spend a lot of time with schooling and, and, and with other people trying to figure out how to help us and benefit us. But as I've said, I do really appreciate therapy. And I do feel like this is a... I don't feel like... I mean, I even told Mandy last night, I don't want anyone else to be in the room with us. You know, I don't want to see a king behind you or even Christopher sitting here, even though we work with them. I feel like this is a very private thing. So if we're going to make it a whole podcast entertaining thing, then I did want another entertainer there. Because to me, this is too personal. I didn't want it to be a social media thing. I didn't want Instagram Lives or the tweets, which was why I reacted the way I did. Because I didn't want that from Mandy. I would have wanted her to answer the phone. So no, I, I didn't want this to be... I take your job very serious. And I feel like... This podcast, it's a comedy podcast. It's not that serious. And this makes it, I don't know, egos get into it when mics and other people are around. Well, can we dispel with that that concept? I think that has a lot to do with the, the, the conflict and tension that you two have is egos yeah. and arrogance. And do you know the difference between arrogance and confidence? Arrogance is a false sense of confidence. It's a mask. Yeah. And that's what I perceive is going on here because it is all fun and games. But you two are not being wholly truthful with each other or your audience. 
However, there are times when you want to dig at each other and take it in a personal route, like with, I don't know who that person, I, I don't know, whatever it is that you mentioned, the, the trick that was played on you, um, and then you get pulled in yeah, yeah. and feelings are hurt. And rather than one person calling the other, it gets completely blown out of control. Right? Right. And then we feed into it. You feed into it by even entertaining a question on another podcast. And then, I mean, there's... Let me... Yes. Um, obviously... Um, upset by it because I think that what you two have is a beautiful thing. However, I think that your ego and your youth um, are getting in the way. So what I would like for each of you to do is tell me in one sentence what you believe the conflict is. And please don't make it a run-on sentence. Mm -hmm. Who would the, like to start? Uh, that's fine. I'll, I'll start, um, and I'll leave it at one sentence before I tell my story. But I will say that the problem that I have is the lack of respect. And I can leave it at that because I think that's the umbrella for everything. Okay, so can we see, say uh, is the perceived lack of respect? An absolute lack of respect in public and in private, both. It's not perceived. Okay. And it's been something whoa, that we've, whoa, 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 we've whoa. talked about it before, though. That was not. Oh, that, I'm sorry. that was more than I'm sorry. one sentence. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We got to listen to the rules here. That's fine. I've got to say, I think you two are brilliant. I, however, am not, and I'm about <laughs> 20 years older than you, so my processing speed is so slow. No problem. So we're gonna follow the rules, not talk over me, and and one sentence. So, please tell me, Weezy, what in one sentence you think the conflict is. <sighs> I'll be honest, I am I would rather listen to Mandy at this point. She's telling me that I don't respect her. She's like, it's absolute, it's a fact. To me, and I don't want to make it longer than I have to. Why don't we just let Mandy maybe talk, and then maybe I can respond? No, that's not fair. I don't want to keep thinking about how she feels, because I spoke to her last night. I gave her a call, and I said, hey, like, how did you feel about what I said about Van? Can you tell me your feelings on that? She's like, nope, it was wrong, blah, blah, blah. I thought I was as respectful as I could be. I don't feel like I said anything wrong to her or anything like that. I don't hate Mandy. I don't feel like I disrespected her. Okay. I need so I for can't. you. Yes, you can. I don't know what the conflict. I, I, don't, I don't know where it lies. So that's why I want to just listen. Okay. Uh -huh. so, so just say that then. Don't put it all on Mandy because that's not you taking ownership or having some sense of accountability because relationships are bi-directional. We sure. each contribute to them. Well, I know that there was something that happened that made her upset, but the, as far as the true conflict, what the real problem is, no, I don't. I can't answer the question. Okay. Do you, how can whoa, I answer whoa, the no, question no, no, for no, you, no, Mandy? Stop, 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 stop. Mandy, 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 breathe. I'm, I'm, I'm breathing. Breathe. I'm breathing. breathing. Okay. I, I promise you I'm breathing. Okay. And I will remain as calm. You just said to I'm, me, I don't know why Mandy, you're upset. Mandy. You're missing the point. You need to follow my rules. You need to follow my rules. And I got to say this, we're not doing that. All of it's from here and here. Because you already have it all lined out. I sure do. Okay. But, so, but that's okay. so... Receipts are needed. Okay. Because, okay. Receipts are needed? Receipts are needed because what was spewed on the Van Lathan podcast in terms of her side of the okay, story... Stop, stop, Let me take stop, the stop, mic stop. away from me and maybe we could just start. I want Mandy to feel like she has to get whatever I no, say out. But Mandy. also I want to be able to say my piece too. Okay, Mandy, you have got to have, as the teenagers say, some chill. I'm chill. I'm not even doing anything. But see, you are. If I ask you to stop talking, then you need to just pause. And I paused. And don't interrupt her. Let her speak her piece, because let me be the one who regulates, okay? Which you are. I have not interrupted her yet. When I listen back, if I interrupted her, I'll, I'll sense that. My expression and face and emotions over here are showing to you, but there was nothing that came out of my mouth. I sat here and said what I said about the, the van show, and she interrupted me and said, okay, well, that, that's what we talked about last night, et cetera, et cetera. If you're saying that I can't sit here and show the receipts for the false Man. things that were said, then I will not show them. I, I will that's tell you fine. this. What's happening is I'm getting the bulk of what it is that you do with her. You don't feel heard, so you're going to keep talking. You're going to keep talking over me, and you're not going to listen to the rules. That's not how it works here. I want you to know that I am going to hear everything that you say, but you need to be patient. 
I hold you in high regard. You're not going to be ignored or disrespected by me in any way that I'm aware of. So let's go to the Van Lathan show. Because I got to be honest with you, it was torturous for me to listen to that. Only because it's a podcast. And I have no interest whatsoever in cream pies and whatever <laughs> people. I, I just, it was Did painful. Did you listen to both? No, just the one. I only got sent the one. So I will tell you this. Um, there was a part in the podcast. And mm-hmm. I think what happens with you, Wheezy, is you're unaware of the words that you say. And then a short period after you speak, you contradict yourself. Okay. So... What you said was you had no beef with Mandy. You had her back. All this positive stuff. And Uh then you said very distinctly, very, very plainly, there was some other thing that Mandy had said on a previous podcast. So when the thing started to unfold with whomever that person was, Andrew. And I still stand by that. Let me finish. You said something, something to the effect of... Well, she did it to me, so I'm okay with it happening the way that it did. Do sure. you do you take ownership of that? I do. Can I explain why? What I need for you to do, and I, yes, please explain why. I need for you to speak slowly and be thoughtful with your words. Sure. And I don't want to be hurtful with my words. So I said that because... So when I was saying that I was sitting there, I had no beef with her, I didn't say anything... Immediately when I saw what happened on Twitter, how she was upset, I was like, what the fuck? Right? And I was thinking I didn't say anything. How could she have been this angry? Blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. So then when I finally got to talk to her, I called Mandy. I I tried to hit her up every day. It was constant me trying to connect with her and talk about it. And when I finally did, she said something along the lines of like, uh, you said nothing to stop it. Or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Something like that. I didn't stop it, which I should have. Which was a lot of the feedback I got from people. Even though I didn't make the joke, I should have stopped it. So and, I'm going to stop me, you. I'm going to stop you now right now. Right. You're, you're not answering my question. Do you take ownership of the fact that you yeah. contradict? I, 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 but to me, I'll tell you why I didn't think it was a contradiction. Because what I said, what you just said I said about how I had no beef with her and I didn't say anything wrong. I didn't. But the reason that I didn't speak up or felt the need to say anything is because why would I need to come to her defense when... I. Why? She says what she wants to say. So if someone else is speaking about Mandy, the only thing I should have defended was her weight. Okay. Other than that, I don't know if she fucked up Alex or not. It was a prank towards me. I still, t- in this moment, the only thing I could have done was maybe stopped it sooner and say, let's not talk about this. But Okay, so maybe I'm not being clear. During the podcast, you said that you defended Mandy. With her weight, yes. Right? And then you... S- then you said something to the effect of, well, you didn't feel like you needed to jump in because she had said something hurtful about you on a previous podcast. Right. Can you say yes or no? Yes. Okay. What you're doing is you're talking around stuff. And so what I need for you to do is to hear what I'm saying and answer my question because you've got a gift for Gap. You do. You have a gift. And what it's doing is it's not allowing you to take responsibility for the hurt that you do to others. I would like to take responsibility for that. But I can't tell you sincerely that I really believe she's using the word respect. And I don't feel like I was disrespectful to Mandy. And maybe that's why I get very confused and keep talking about it. And it sounds like I'm talking in circles because I really, and maybe that's because of the intent. Okay. I don't. So can you say this? Can you say that when you heard this, whatever podcast, however long ago that Mandy was on, you heard some content and it hurt your feelings. Yes or no? Yeah. Did you ever talk to her about that? Uh, yeah. I was in Japan. I talked to her. I texted her. She told me I was tripping. Um, yeah, I did. Okay. Okay. But, but whenever wait, I'm no, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Because there's so many lies that are being said right there's now. There's lies, so I oh, didn't hit you so up about many it. Lies. What there I didn't hit you so up. Many lies I didn't right hit now. you up. You were upset that I sat here and said that the reason for our podcast being successful from an early start was because Anytime I Anytime you it said something, I said I, something. Because I gave it to the fact that I was already sitting on a social media following, and you felt that me saying that it wasn't just 
Uh, Mandy, that's uh, a shitty uh, thing uh, to say uh, when you had another podcast and you, you're giving no credibility I to had, the fact that people don't okay, listen to... Okay, so... She got so, mad because I didn't give her credit on another podcast. Well, then you went on another podcast, podcast and you said, said, I was, said some shit about uh, my feminism and how I... I said you contradict yourself and you're a hypocrite which she just sat here and had a whole you're conversation be, you've been about Nicki Minaj you, this whole week no, and I'm a hypocrite about, about how you contradict yourself okay me saying that you contradict yourself me saying that you're a hypocrite those are things that I've said on our very own so podcast. then how can you can really you have a leg to I, stand on about our brand finish? when you can went you online finish? before you called can you, can you me how could you do finish? that can you and look me in the face and really say that wheezy wheezy and Mandy let's take a let's take a breath right now so what I'm hearing is you admit which is really hard for you that someone has hurt you. You had a heart, right? No, no, no. That you were hurt by her words. To me, I don't understand your generation. Talking is not texting. You were in Japan or someone was in Japan. That was you, the time that I okay. connected with her, yeah. Okay, so tell me this. Did you ever have a sit down where you hashed it out and resolved it? Yes or no? No, we've called each other. That's the only... We've never okay. really so sat just, and talked about those things. So no. I've tried multiple oh, times okay. after recording. So, okay. And she's always too busy to stay what after. You, she's, we she's always... tried to talk before podcasts, and I said, listen, Wheezy, when we talk before shows, it affects the content. I'm not talking to you before a show. This has been at least the last couple times we've recorded. You only asked to I've tell me you were doing say, another show. That's the only time no, that you I, wanted to sit with me. Not okay. only that, I do want to say, um, doctor, that what she is saying as far as what I said on the other podcast... Her being upset with me that I sat here and gave credit to our quick success early is the fact that I had another podcast and the fact that I was sitting on a large social media following is me not stroking her ego. So sorry that I didn't How? Bring her People up. are here with millions of followers and their podcasts suck. That's you think fine. it's not me and that's you? Fine. You don't think it's our dynamic. See, that's what I'm saying. But that's, well, well, that's so discrediting but, but, to no, what I do with you wait, every wait, wait, fucking okay, week. Okay, okay but, but, listen, but listen, do you hear what she said? Oh, she's finally, thank you, admitting... That she felt discredited. And I've got to tell you, Mandy, beautiful, smart, lovely. You have to be not so itchy, scratchy with your words. Meaning, don't take all the credit. And I didn't. The interview was about me. They asked me about my, my, okay. my okay. podcast before. They asked me about my blog that I had before. They asked me about starting the podcast, how it started. There was a whole conversation. And you said and it me, did well because me, of your following. And I felt like, absolutely, for people Okay, who, okay, I get it. Mandy, and, and, how? Whoa, 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 and that whoa, to me whoa. is not... Just, wheezy, Wheezy, Let, let's just say this. Yes, take some credit for yourself, but if you're about building a brand and if you're about being professional and maintaining a relationship you need to soften it and also give credit for where you are you're not the this we, we had five thousand listeners at this time it's, it, we weren't where we are now we were where we are now because of charlemagne and andrew on brilliant idiots you have got to stop saying that as well we have gotten that, thirty thousand listeners that because is, of that. That is fine, but we have also put in a whole lot of work. We did, but have, as far as listenership, Mandy, people. are we really not going to give that credit? No, we can absolutely give them credit, but that's a problem that I think that you have. We okay. never got. I'm no. sorry. I'm sorry. This, I don't. I don't care about them. I don't, I don't know why. Look, can what, can we not even? Up. Can, can we not talk chasing. about it? It's, I'm cloud chasing by wow, giving someone credit. Whoa. Okay, so this is what we're going to do going forward. We're not calling names. Seriously. You two have had conflicts since some dude in Orlando. You're telling me that you have not learned anything from that time from then till now. I'm sorry your feelings are hurt, but I have to no, tell no, no, you. No, 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 no. That's not how you talk to people. You don't say, I'm sorry sure, your feelings are right. hurt, and then a but. I'm just having a hard time trying to express empathy when... You go on live saying that you want to fight me. You know my number. You know where I live. You know where I work. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me tell you something. All of this no, stuff no, no, is no. not. No, no, Wheezy, what are you talking about? Really? This is since our conflict. This okay, is... okay, so pause for a second. Let, let us address this. First of all, you're both in your 20s. You both work at these whatever, whatever. What? Right. Great businesses, whatever. Yes. You're both making, I hear about it, six figures. Tell me why you're acting like you're street. Doctor, I will sit here and... Please. Yes, and that's fine. So what, 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 what was fine? No, I'm no, I'm you said please and I said fine. As in I'm going to sit here and explain myself. There's no explanation for threatening violence. I did not threaten violence. Okay. That is not what was said, and she was not on my live to hear that. Whether that was the message that so was you brought think back to her. Send it to me. Let me sit here and say exactly what I said. At this point, this was after a text message that I had received to her where 
instead of apologizing to me because she now saw how hurt I was, I got a, we don't like each other anyways, fuck you, go do your own show. And there's screenshots You said that, that I was, was trash. One moment. One moment, one moment. Online. One moment. You were trash for telling me to get my own show. You That's said to trash. me, she's super trash. And you told me that I need to worry about I our brand. But wait. the first thing you did was not pick up the phone. Super trash. You went on Twitter. Stop, stop, stop. No, stop, 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 stop. let me finish. I, I know, but no, I'm don't trying talk to over. sit here and tell my, my yes. side. Yes. I have not gotten to say okay. anything about my side. Okay, can I, can I just say this? Yes. Take it down. I'm okay. right here. No problem. And I say that because I need for you to be calm. No That's problem. the only way in which the message will be heard because otherwise all I'm hearing is noise. Both the, the, the narrative that is being put out is that I did not reach out to Alex or Wheezy about how I felt prior to going to social media. It's being nar narrated that I went straight to social media before speaking to both of them. I will sit here and say Alex ignored my message. Wait, pause for a second. Who's Alex? Alex is the cameraman that I apparently fucked for video. That this whole wait, 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 pause. Can, can you pause? Can you translate yes. that for me? What does fuck for video mean? So that's what was part of the joke. Part of the prank that was insinuated about me on top of me, him fucking 50 pounds off of my weight, I just had the gastric sleeve. So weight jokes was not funny to me. Secondly, there was an insinuation about us paying him a low amount of money because I was making up for it by fucking him for our video. This is what the prank was and this is what the joke was. I take this business and what I've done for this show very seriously. So what that joke entailed, whether it was a prank or not, whether it's about him fucking me, I put a lot into horrible decisions. I edit our episodes. I've sat here and reached out to brands. I've Take done a, right I'm here. sorry, I've done a lot for this show. Okay. So, yes, as someone who is a feminist, for her to be in a group of men where they're insinuating Be that, mindful of what comes next. That's fine. That, that I've fucked for our video and for the narrative to also be brought to another podcast that we landed on loudspeaker because of who she may or may not have fucked. As a woman who has worked hard for this brand and who has not slept her way to get anything and has busted her ass, I genuinely felt disrespected from a business standpoint. Me and Weezy are not friends, and that's fine. So the respect that I'm talking about doesn't have to be from a personal friendship level. But as your business partner, to laugh in a room of people making that joke and to not stop that, I felt like it was detrimental to me as a person who's trying to build her brand and detrimental to horrible decisions. Okay, so then you're, you're, you are contradicting yourself. You're saying on the one hand, you don't care on a personal level. It's just business. But you're saying that it does affect you on a personal level. It affects me on a business. Uh, on it affects me personally in my own brand. That's what I'm saying. It I'm affects sorry. me. I personally. would like. I would like for you to own the fact that it does affect you personally. Because when people speak about us in a, a disparaging manner, it's hurtful. That's, yes. I'll own agree that. To that. I'll, yes. Okay. Yes. So. Forget you two being BFF or whatever yeah. the terminology is. You go way back. And so there's a bit of loyalty that is owed to that history. And you don't feel as though that's being honored. No. And I, given what I've heard, is that you have some uh, unresolved issues, anger issues toward her. And so you are more apt to allow those disparaging comments to be made. I, w I will say that. Yes or no? Yeah. But. Okay. Oh, so oh, no, fine. No, but. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. I feel like the respect was me not entertaining it. And if I was in a room privately with no, not mic'd up with cameras, I wouldn't have. This is the thing. I feel like if Mandy was in that room without, if, if guys were talking about me, she would join in. You can't oh, well, stop, say stop, that. stop, stop, stop. Not wait, mic'd up. Wait, 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 wait. This is how, let me just get, just, that, okay. just okay. give it to me. Let me, let me get this out. No, 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 no. Let I would let never me, talk shit about me. Mandy wait, 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 without, stop, stop. without stop. phones, stop. Wait, wait, without stop. cameras. Oh I would, I, no, the, 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 the respect easy. I gave her that day was stop. the same I would give you, know you in what private. You're doing? You're, what you're doing, you're it's called a rationalization. You're making an excuse for your behavior. Right now, you're talking Fuck about... Fuck it. I still own that. I no, don't feel like you deserved me to do anything else. Not the person you've been to me. Let me finish. You're rationalizing your behavior by coming up with the hypothetical. It doesn't matter. It's it, fine. What no, she does in my face, then. There's no rationality there. What she's done in my face so on her what show, you do, I what, owe what you nothing you do. else. No, listen, listen and to I what still I'm saying. Feel like whoa, 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 whoa. What you do, what you do with going on these podcasts, is like shitting all over the room. And you're not just shitting all over the room. You're shitting all over your brand, the podcast. I shit on our brands? Yes, you do. 
how did I shit on our brand when you, she went on Instagram no, 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 crying no. about how she's going to no. fight me? Talking all the shit about every single person. You. I didn't online. Wait, I was going to you. Weezy, Weezy, shit. Weezy. I didn't say I, was, I said I could not see what? you right now because of the anger I'm that I really felt surprised. in me. Weezy. The anger that I felt in me, I I said, and the you way that I know. Lower, lower, the way lower. that I know we speak, and clearly you, like, this is, we, we tried this on Sunday, which, by the way, was the first time you called me since Thursday. That's okay. Stop, since stop, Thursday. I called you every day since it happened. You call me every day. I called you. I fucking asked, can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? I call called you on the phone on the weekend before I left LA. Stop talking now. You text me. Stop you. talking now. You're lying. Stop. No, no, no. Stop. Stop. That is unnecessary. That is I unnecessary. Didn't call you, Andy? Excuse no. me. Not, I didn't call not, you. Not till Sunday. Ladies. What do you mean not till no, no, Sunday? No, 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 no. Stop. Stop. You each want to be the queen of nothing. I just want it to be over. I don't want to argue no, with you no, anymore. No. Well, then, th well, then you need to pause. You need to be more mindful and you need to take ownership because you speak, in my observation, without thinking. You let words come out of your mouth that contradict previous words. And you're not, you don't take accountability. I'm, I'm not saying what's the that. accountability I need to take for what I did at Flagrant? What do what, I need to take? What, what did I do? What is the accountability that everybody wants me to take? I uh, should have deaded the joke? Okay. Yes. And you should have also owned with Mandy the fact that you're pissed from the past. And that you How will. Did I, not, no, no. I said that on Van's show. I was very, really trying to be but, honest but, no, in that no, moment. No, no, and now I feel like it's being thrown at me like honesty, it was wrong. Your honesty is only. Half honest. How? Because you're not speaking truthfully. By you're, saying situations by, by, no, in by front say, of Anne? By saying that you would defend your girl, your partner, but at the same time you're okay when people disrespect her because you have previous beef. See, here's that, the thing. I no, don't no, want to no, ever see, disrespect Mandy, whoa, 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 and that's what I feel yeah. like I didn't whoa, 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 do. What's so happening? No, no, I no. didn't feel like I did that, and I still what don't. I, what I'm saying to you, and you're not listening, is that you need to think before you speak, you have a habit of just defending yourself as though your life depended on it. So I, I'm humble enough to say when I'm wrong, and I can understand. Well, no, see, see the, again, you're not. You have to pause, okay? Because you're not taking most of what I'm saying in because you need to respond right away to defend yourself because you need to be right, and you're not always right, and that's okay. I don't think it's all about being right. I just don't want it to be misconstrued. Okay, so if you give pause for a second, allow yourself to digest it maybe the, th the words that you say will not be misconstrued. Okay. <laughs> I s whoa, whoa, whoa. What, uh, do you want me to speak? I, 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 just... I, I, I want, this is an exercise in your ability to just have some verbal chill, which you don't have. And that's what I meant by you're going on these other podcasts, shitting all over the room. It's a, it's a clinical and not so clinical term, which is that you're making a mess everywhere you go. You create chaos. What other podcasts? You're talking about that moment when the prank was played? That and Van Show. And if you have any. I asked Van if Mandy wanted that cut out no. to take it out. I asked him, no, can, no, did honey, you discuss honey, this? Honey, I didn't honey, want to do but, that. But this, but this is the thing. This is the thing. It didn't even need to be edited. Because it shouldn't have been said. As a professional, as a person who's trying to protect your brand and have some sense of loyalty to your girl from back in the day, whether or not you currently like her, you don't even answer the question. You don't entertain it. You can ask me a million questions. Okay. You can ask me a million questions. You're saying on Van's show I should and, never and have answered onus, that question. That is correct. I can understand and that. And the onus is on me whether or not I want to answer it. Okay. I, I will I, I will agree with you on that. I could have deaded that. Okay, so by doing but that... But I didn't want to. And that's where the nastiness comes out. But I'll tell you why I didn't feel like it was this nasty. Is what I, th th because I said nothing bad about Mandy. I wished her nothing but good. I said I wanted us to stay together. Stop. I said we're stronger Stop. together. Stop. What was nasty about what I did to her? You, 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 you're constantly undermining any kind of positive regard that you want to express to her. It, on Van's show? Just now with your words. I said to you, if you could not have said it, would you have edited it? And you said yes. And yes. then you said, well, no, I wouldn't No, no, have no. It's not that I was saying yes. I'm, I'm agreeing with you that yes, I could have deaded it. I could have. 
But did I want to? No, because I wanted people to know that I didn't have ill feelings towards her. Mandy had been on live every night talking about me, going okay, on so Instagram, stop, stop. retweeting things about me. About so I, wa- so so I you, wanted people so to know why? that I didn't harbor those well, emotions I for her. I gotta tell you something. Fuck people. The person. I can't no. say fuck people. We're here. I don't oh, want to be me. here. I'd rather be with you in private. Excuse me. Excuse me. Fuck people. You don't owe them an explanation. You don't owe them an apology. You don't owe so them. So if, if I don't owe them an explanation, why are we here? You owe it to her. And I wanted her to hear me say that on a public platform. Excuse me. The public platform is not someone else's podcast. It's right here. It was in the moment. It was the question. It's not you think I wouldn't have wanted to do that And that is why I'm going back to your ego being bigger than you can actually contain right now. You need to be more thoughtful and meditative as opposed to speaking quickly. Okay. Can I I say something? So, before we... Because I've been real quiet. I know. And I know. (laughs) You're going to be in the hot seat soon. That's fine. Uh, what I need for you to do is to apologize to her directly. Uh, for what? Can I be honest? And that's why. I, no, 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 I, no, I don't no, want to no, give no, Mandy no, an apology, apology because I'll be honest with you. Oh, stop! Stop! I don't no, feel you're wrong. You're not being honest. I'm sorry you were hurt, Wait, but no, I am no, not no, sorry. I don't want to take that. Whoa, whoa. I don't want that's that. That's what I'm Weezy. sorry for. Then don't take I don't it. That. I don't want to give an apology. Weezy. Weezy. Let me ask you a question. How many close friends do you have in your life? And don't tell me the, you know, the people that who are. I heard Cass and a close this friends person and I'd that person. No, be real with me. Someone who is your ride or die. You call them when you're feeling fucked Three. up. And My mom is one four. Your mom doesn't count. Okay, so three. And you want to know how they felt about this? What happened? Absolutely not. I, I just I I, I I don't care about what their thoughts are about this interaction. I care about how it is that you interact with them when there's conflict. Not like I'm interacting with Mandy. I didn't ask you that. Uh, when I don't really have conflict with close friends because we're really communicative. Um, we call each other a lot. Anytime there's an issue, we don't really hold water with each other to make sure that it's not spilled. And we have long length conversations about our feelings. Okay. So how long have you known these three people? Uh, one for 12 years, the other for five, five years. The other two for five years. Uh Uh-huh. And so how is it that you can't utilize those same communication skills with Mandy? Because she doesn't give them to me. And I feel no, like no, 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 no. I asked you not. You see what you do? You're so tricky. I would charge I need you to make that tricky. Oh, oh, oh. I would charge you double what I usually pay because you're you just switch it around. I, I'm not trying to switch it. I'm being honest with you. That's how I feel. OK, they but, don't. But, but, but we don't talk but, to each other like but, but, me, like Mandy talks to me. So that's me. why I don't. Excuse me. What you're doing again is you're constantly deflecting and making it about Mandy as opposed to. But taking you just asked me, why don't I do it with her? I said, why don't. You do it with her. I didn't say, what does she do? Because I'm giving the same energy that she's giving me. My friends are very that calm. That sounds very lame. All right. That's what it is. My friends oh, are do, very do you, calm. Do, they do speak you, to me calm. Do you take any responsibility for the fact that that was... One of the friends from five years is, is a therapist as well. I don't... It's like, irrelevant. My, my, it, point, my point is that the way in which you just responded was so quick and immature, she doesn't do it to me. What are we in middle school? So I'm going to ask you again. Talk about it from That's your just me own person. It's not me trying to be immature. If it if it makes me immature, then I will take that. I can't give Mandy that same communicative sk- the skills you're talking about because I feel like when I talk to her, it turns into this. So why am I going to talk to her like I talk to my other friends? Okay. I've tried to give okay, her those so long length texts okay. and be nice, okay. ask for conversations, wait, 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 stop, stop. and so, they don't work. So you feel like there's no reciprocity. Yes. You are entitled to your feelings, Mandy. You can shake your head no, That's but fine. you can but you cannot take away from her subjective feelings, just like you don't want her to do the same from you. Which is okay. Fine. That yeah. was probably a better, I, I couldn't get that out, but that's that's what it is. If I do it, I feel like I don't get it back. Yes, it's not reciprocated. Um, Mandy has even, there was one conversation, and I, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, if you can remember, Mandy was angry about something I said, and I told her, I'm, I'm really sorry, I didn't mean to do this, blah, blah, blah. She hung up the phone on me. She called me back, and she said, you know what, I shouldn't have hung up on you, I was like, I was really sorry. She was like, I think when you're, what, what you say is phony. I think the things you're doing is phony. Mm-hmm. She was like, and I shouldn't have done that. And I really, in the moment when I apologized, her meant it. And I appreciated that so much because I think that she assumes when I speak to her this way, it's phony. But what would have been phony is me saying sorry because I do still feel like I can't understand, which is why I asked Mandy to speak first because I want to sweetie, get it. Sweetie, you, you don't want to get it. You don't. But, but- that's that's for the ther- that's sorry. for the therapist sorry. to say. Sorry. You don't want to get it. I think that you. Why do you think d- I don't want to get I it? I think that you've dug a hole for yourself so much, and you have so much bravada to defend that you are not allowing yourself. Why are you looking at me like that? No, she's not looking at I you. She's looking at the clock. 
time. <laughs> Whatever. I, it's so fucking hard to look at you. Go, you talk about fighting me like it's so hard to do that. Stop, stop, stop. She's becoming okay. stop, she's playing the no. victim. I'm not oh, fucking no. playing victim. She's talking to me. Are you fucking kidding me, Mandy? I play the victim. You went online and did a whole charade. You're the reason we're sitting here. I'm sitting here. I have not said a word. Mandy, stop. I have not said a word. Fucking God, bro. Okay. I can't. I can't do this. Yes, you can. And you will. For the next all you do is shit on me. Retweet all these people Don't that agree with you. It's so fucking cheesy. Okay. You talking shit about Nicki Minaj. You are Nicki Minaj, bro. You dug this hole. You cried on okay, Instagram. No, you talked about you want to fight me. Stop, stop, I can't stop, believe stop. you're doing this. Stop. Every time you get mad, you talk about doing another show. That's the only reason I said get your own. You and always do this and to me. Wait, 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 wait. And so... And that's whoa, 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 whoa. So, but that's your issue, isn't it? Again, no, false. That was, just go if stop, you're so stop. mad at me. She Mandy, keeps pushing Mandy, me away. Mandy. I'm not Mandy. pushing you away. Stop. You fucking she always talk about how you want to do something else, then do it. Don't be here with she me if you don't want to. Stop. Wheezy. I have so, not. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. She's pushing me away. Wheezy. So, the fact that she keeps threatening you. I'm not, I don't threaten to leave. I say I want to create another show. Yes. And I said that all the other podcasters do it. Stop, 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 stop. When you're mad, you do that. No, I'm not. I came to A King months you ago. You wouldn't even look me in the face the fucking day you told me that. Are you serious? You were no. mad. And you said I hate working with her. I hate doing this. this is, You're full of. Wait, 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 stop. I Who wish did you King say that? To, is, is that is that a verific? Can we? So verify? we didn't, you didn't do that in front of Chris Morrow. You didn't verifiable. do that in front of Chris Morrow. This is verifiable. This is verifiable. We bring oh, A bring King in here. Whoa, 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 whoa. See, like, and, and, and Alex, and not you do this to me all the time. He's not my best friend. This was okay. So stop, stop. stop. A King wait, and Chris Morrow were okay. He would not sit here inside. So wh- I've been speaking okay. to yes, I've been speaking to multiple of my friends as well as the network about doing another show. Okay, pause, pause, pause. Before we started arguing, way before we started, way before, way before we started arguing. Okay, okay. So wait, 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 wait. So way before we started arguing. So this is this is another another reason why there's so much tension and conflict is because you feel betrayed i can wait wait no no let me finish this is a this is a clinical interpretation okay you feel betrayed wheezy that she's gonna go on her own and quite it's, frankly i heard you say on the it's not about well, well, on let own. me finish on this podcast that either one of you could be gone it's about the brand the brand yeah, will the always stronger. no okay so stop 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 so the reality is I don't care what you all say. It's the brand is nothing without the two of you. I agree. It would be, That's magic. It would so be we'll hard go. for either of us. If I left, and okay. She, she said she would audition to replace me. So sure stop. Did. Why not? It would be fun. Stop. Flavor of love for horrible decisions. Who, okay. Okay. You okay. Keep talking about you were gonna leave. You were fucking crazy. Okay. okay. So can we? Can, so can we I just, can't think of what I'm gonna do. But you can sit here and talk about that. That's why we can't talk. No. Because no, no, this no. is where it gets to. You well, sat and talked about this, leaving. No. 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 This is where it gets to though. And I can't. I'm up my plan B. When you were saying you wanted to leave. Can't talk. When you just called me Sunday to sit here and say I'm. I called you last week and we talked and you screamed at me and you asked Andrew if it was. No, no. I did call you. Okay. I did call you. Stop. I'm tr- stop. I'm stop. 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 Can you two just stop? You're so afraid that one is the- going to leave the other. God, can't you just admit that shit? You're giving me a fucking headache. How does anyone, anyone come in here and enjoy themselves? Don't answer that. It's rhetorical. Both of you are like hurt sisters. That's the thing. You're like sisters. And sisters fight all the time. You cannot, cannot cope with the fact that both of you have talents that can go outside of this place. And you're fearful that this, the core where you started, is going to go to shit. You're afraid to be left. You're afraid to be left. You keep saying no. I I disagree with you. I disagree with you. So I, I haven't been able to say anything about, A, how I felt at all. Um, and furthermore, when I, I spoke on bringing the show, and this is where I also feel like there's an agenda to make oh, me. Okay. Wait, so okay. 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 I, I won't go that route. I won't go that route. Um, Mandy, on, Mandy. on wait, wait, the wait, show, post, post. You're no, gonna, no, I'm thinking, the, I'm going to think this is, this is your time right now. Yes. I just need you to listen. You sure. are going to be so mindful of your words. I will. I'm telling you I will. right now. I will. Not I will. Have, I will. Do not be accusatory. Nope. Thank That's you. fine. That's fine. Um, Speak about your feelings. I don't want to hear my news. Okay, about so if we go back space. to the feelings, I think I shared on on how I felt um, when I heard the joke, which has well, stirred a lot go- of this. Uh, okay, can <laughs> and we, I brought can- I brought that to you. I, can we can we fast forward? If to- we fast forward to that, um, I shared my feelings with both Weezy and Alex in a text while it was going on. I was called while this joke was going on. Um, I was relayed by Andrew that, hey, we're saying a prank that you fucked Alex. Okay, can you stop with that? Yes. I- I'm hearing you. I get it. 
Your feelings were hurt? Yes. I got to ask you, do you think it is wise to lash out on social media? I don't, I'm not asking you about what Weezy does. I'm asking you about this live Snapchat, these tweets. Tell me, what was your intention? Answer the question. The intention of me going on to social media, which the Twitter, which is where I spewed um, how I felt, was to, I would say, es essentially to clear my name. At this point, this was um, about 4 to 5 o'clock in the afternoon, so the show had been aired, and my mentions on social media, my Instagram, Alex's name was added up and down. Oh, you smashed that. You using that blue chew on that? Alex tapped that. All through my comments. Okay. So when I went onto Twitter, I went to clear my name and let it be known that A, I did not fuck that man. B, I did definitely did not do it for for video time. And thirdly, I thought it was disrespectful that people who are a part of the horrible decisions brand sat there and laughed and stop, let it stop, stop, and stop, let stop. it go on. Stop. Okay. That, that's what I did with okay. social media. Okay, so can you admit that it wasn't just about clearing your name? It was also to say why I felt the way I felt. So, yes, no. it wasn't only about clearing my name. Tell me what the other to, agenda was. The other agenda was to sit here and share how I did not think it was a joke. Okay, I need for you to speak more truthfully. That's one layer. Underneath that, what was your spewing, as you said, on social media about? Um... If are we going back to are we going into the lives now or still on Twitter because that's all it was and then me and Alex went back and forth, sweetie. I'm asking you. A, 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 you said social media. There's two points that she's brought up: the Twitter, which is where I brought points. up, and then the Instagram, where I sat here and allegedly said I would beat her ass, which was not what I said. I sat here and said because they asked, have me and her talked? Why don't you go to Weezy? So my response to that was. At this point, she had already responded with the fuck you, we don't like each other anyways, get your own show. Okay, so you, so, okay stop, 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 stop. In, it's in the text messages. So, 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 stop, 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 yes. stop, stop. Okay, okay. What was your agenda? Speak plainly. So my agenda was to sit here and share why I spewed what I did. No, you're not answering my question. Was it to say fuck you to Weezy? Was, was my agenda to say fuck you to Weezy? No. I don't think you're being truthful. You can sit here and not think I was truthful, but at this point, I'm very upset with how people who are a part of my brand just treated me treated me on a public platform. And so what my agenda was to do was to sit here and actually show those emotions and sit here and say that, yes, I was hurt. And to sit here and clear my name and um, so that's here. semantics. No. So, so, so say it was retaliatory. Yeah. No, I don't. I would uh, not say it was retaliatory. Uh, she went on. Little... She went onto a, a platform. No, we're not talking about her. We're not talking about her. Answer. We don't. We don't have to talk about her. Okay. That so, that show gets a quarter million I, listens. I I gotta tell you. Th that's fine if you don't care. No, but it wasn't. But, but tell me, it was any bit of what you put out there to hurt her feelings? To hurt her feelings? No. She knows exactly how the fuck I feel about her. So then why didn't you text it to me? Why did you do it on Instagram? I absolutely text it to you. I sent no, her. You didn't. I have, I have screenshots here, which I can't Thank pull you out. Your That's fine. I did bring them. Okay. Because I sat here and shared my thoughts about how I did not think it was a joke. And her response to me was. Yes. No. Her response to me was. Let this me finish. This is going to be fine. Can I finish? It's Can I finish? I, I let you talk. Stop her screaming, please. Her response to me was. It didn't even feel real. Um And. Okay, so, wait, wait, wait. So, not only did it not feel real, she said between Joe Budden and Flagrant going on the Brilliant Idiots feed, this the is going to be a great week. week. Th this is and it was. So because you me, fucking acted to, a fool, to really. Me, to me, the fact that content and us getting numbers was weighed above how I would have taken that. You didn't that, hear it. How, how I would I know? Okay, well, well, how about this? You never heard it, Mandy. Okay. I didn't know I how you would feel. Podcast, so, so you how said about you this? knew I would be mad because you asked Andrew to I edit I did, but I didn't know you were going to react can this I, way. Can I please And finish? I did ask him can to take I, it out, but I, you still I, fucking want to show me all over the internet. Okay, so, so, Weezy, didn't you know that she would she Have said it, yes. a negative response that she her feelings would be her <laughs> yeah and he took things so, out i so, asked him to no yes he did okay, so don't me, tell me, me that you weren't in the stop, fucking stop, room stop, stop, yes stop he did pointing. Let me tell you something. If you have that much power about what it is that he edits out. No, I don't have that much power. Stop it. He wouldn't take the right. Stop what? it. I couldn't even out get him to take out something I said incriminating a guy that I pegged. Okay, so how about this? I asked him to take out things I how thought would be this? hurtful, and he would not remove the rest of how it. He said this? I'd have to take out the old episode, how about this? and it was Going done. Going forward, would you do the same? 
The Which answer one? is no. When, when Only she, because when of her she, reaction. When she, when she, well, it's because, can you say? It's I because thought Mandy we, would be a jokingly funny, like, okay, fuck y'all, no, blah, blah, blah. No, I never thought no, she would do this. And no, 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 no. For cameras? It wasn't. No. Can, can I say? Can I say? To me, this is the analogy. You talk about. We this talk about a, fucking on our this, show. We talk about fucking fine. for everything. Fucking, you talk about fucking, fucking ma- married fucking men. Fucking on Why our would show I think and me that, fucking married men has nothing to do. I would. You talk about fucking for things. That's fine. I, I would never. Was, he said it wasn't true. Let me, let let me sit here. But that's why I did think she would be mad. She's not letting me finish. And this is why. This is why. Okay. I've sat here and gave. I gave you the floor for goddamn near fucking twenty five minutes and didn't say a thing. Okay, Mandy. You, you, no, you now. this is what happens when we and this is why we cannot talk and i tell her she she listens to respond she doesn't listen to listen she literally said she wanted to call me to understand how she felt why i felt the way i and felt about, about everything let, let, let me finish let me finish yes as soon as i picked up her call on sunday this aired thursday this is our first time talking we spoke on sunday three to four days later but before I could get a word, she said, listen, before you talk, I need to let you know. And she goes on for about four minutes. So Got you it. did not call Got to it. understand how I felt or why I took everything away. Okay, so let me ask you this. You called me to clear, okay. to clear and make it I, seem I get like it. you I get were it. right. I get it. I get it. Because I get you it. weren't wrong. I, I get and it. And I overreacted. Okay, wait, 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 Man, That's man, you not man, wanting man, to know man, about my no, feelings, bro. You. No. No, bro. and 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 Wheezy, when you say, well, it's going to be a good week, our numbers are going to be up. Yeah, That's I it's, say it's, that. It, that's that that also undermines the relationship, professional and personal. How did you that that's you, how I took it? Be, what, what because, do you mean? Because you're more concerned. Yep. And actually, I don't think you're more concerned with I think you have difficulty owning when you fuck up. You have difficulty owning when you hurt people. You have difficulty owning that your communication skills are not great and can be. I'll improved. agree with you. Okay, so. My communication skills and Mandy are poor, yeah. Okay, so when you call her, rather than to deal with the, the hard stuff. Mm-hmm. You're, you're right. Her, her feelings, what you say is to get around it. Oh, girl, our number's going to be up. No, no, no. Oh, 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 what she's yeah, saying when uh, I called her, oh, when whatever. I talked about okay. me. Okay, so. That was just, so, out, that was reaction I, okay, okay, after Twitter. So, so, how about this? How about the fact that you didn't do what you know needed to be done warrants an apology? Because when you called her up, you didn't ask about her feelings, you made it about you. 1,000%. Stop. Sorry. Don't think that hard. I'm it's not trying not, to think that, hard. So, so I need I, for you to take ownership and apologize for that. Don't tell me you don't have any empathy about that. I'm not going to not apologize so, for that. I okay, will say. Okay, okay. No, no, no. I apologize whoa, whoa, whoa. No, for... No. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Open your eyes. Mm-hmm. Open your eyes and look at her because she's actually making a genuine apology. Can I apologize something? for that call because I know when I called you, in my mind, I was reading what you were thinking happened, what you th- saying that I was disrespecting you. And all I wanted to do was let you know that's not what I meant. I wanted you to know that I asked Andrew to take things out because I thought that would okay, matter. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Mm. So okay, I, so stop, 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 No, and stop, it was stop, wrong stop. what I did. I should okay. have asked you. Okay. And wait, I did that stop, because wait, wait, no, no, I no, no, felt no. bad. Wheezy, Wheezy, you talk too fast. You talk too much. Go back to what you just said. I was sorry for that. Yes. Stick with, no, no. Absolutely. I'm, no, I'm no. sorry for that. You're not apologizing to me because that would have never happened to me. Apologize to her. I'm sorry for calling you and talking about me first. Let it stay. It took 48 minutes to get here. I will tell you this. If I were running LSN, you'd both be gone. I can't, I would not entertain the shenanigans, the buffoonery. It's unnecessary. There are other people out in the, out in the world who are just as talented as you. It is too much of a fucking headache to listen to this. Mm -hmm. Because you cannot take ownership for something so simple. This is about, you talk about female empowerment, you can't even look each other in the face and apologize for something that you know you have done wrong. And it's it's okay to be wrong. I'm not saying that I'm not wrong, but I'm- Stop. You have such a hard time owning it. And it would be so much easier if you could just do that. I can't tell you I'm sorry. That's it. I, that's it. It's not that I'm not saying that it's wrong, but 
I felt like I would have been empathetic if that stop, whole week stop. didn't go on. Stop. So, so I can't do it now. No. Not after what I've heard stop, you say. Stop. Stop. I don't want an apology stop. for that. You told me. I don't want to give you one. Stop. 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 See, you can't even stick with something good for two fucking minutes. How is that? This is really hard for me. I know it's really hard for you because you're asking something. Because I've I've done no, no, so no, much no, apologizing no, to Andy. No, I've done actually, so no, much you empathizing. You no, Are you oh, fucking God. kidding me? All Wheezy, I do is fucking Wheezy, 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 you just said you have a hard time apologizing. So stop. It's like you always have stop. a problem with me. No, no, Manny. And Manny, that's why I'm Manny, feeling Manny, like this. Manny, Manny, you're like me. I need you to chill with the faces. You, Wheezy, let me tell you something. You're not the bad guy, even though it feels that way. I'm so frustrated with this shit. I understand that. Mandy, I feel like you think I hate you, and I'm like, I feel so bad, because I don't hate you, and I I really feel sorry that you're feeling like this, but like... No, no, don't don't butt it. Don't butt it. Don't butt it. I can't not butt it, because I... No, then you have to stop yourself. You have to stop yourself. I'm just so frustrated. Okay, then own that. I don't want this to happen, but like, oh, okay, I, I just, th- if you want to do your own thing because no, you can't do no, this. No, no, no. But, no, but no, you no, said no, it, no, but you no, said no, it, but you said it. I have not, she has done a oh, lot of things. That's what I've heard you say. Can I one, just say, whoa, 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 I didn't think it would take this. Wait, wait, I'm I didn't crying because was... I feel so bad that you really feel because like I just dis- I, I hate one, you. One thousand, or I don't one thousand percent. You. And the fact that you we don't sit here and fucking tears don't here? be unkind. I'm not. Yes, I'm you are. We spoke last night. Stop. So no, for this no, to be stop. an agenda right now to make stop. me the victim I'm I'm, or me the villain, I'm not I'm saying pissed right you are. now. Okay, I'm pissed what are you talking I'm about? Right now. Mandy, so I, you so I will like speak that. on Mandy. I will speak on Mandy. Can, Mandy. can I speak? And, and, and no, please, you, can, you can't. Because I won't sit here and, and I'm not digging a hole. I'm not sitting here okay, saying whoa, anything. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can we just pause for a second? Yes, we can pause. When's the last time you saw her cry? She cries all the time. What the fuck? I cry all the time. You fucking cried on Instagram. You really doing this? I did. I'm crying because I feel bad that you're hurt and I can't believe you don't no, 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 hear. Bad that I'm okay, wait, well, oh, you're here saying I don't. Into you think this. I'm okay. crying for me? Fifty minutes into this, you called me Maybe last I'm night. I'm crying I... because I really believe that you really think I don't respect you. You don't. Okay, so then tell her you do, and you will I, never. Of course, I respect you. Okay, so stop, That's Mandy. Fine. And so, going forward, are you willing to make a commitment to demonstrate that? Every single time you two interact, absolutely. Every single time you two have a show, every single time you tweet something, be about it. Absolutely. Don't just say it. Absolutely. Of course I do. I will tell you, I, I'm sorry if you felt like my reaction to you wasn't enough, but I was hurt no, that no, you no. did it on. Um, no, okay, no, no, that's, no, it was reactionary. See, see, so, so I'm just trying to explain why I reacted okay, so that way. Uh, that's all I'm okay, doing. Okay, no, no. So I'm say, not trying to not take ownership. Accept. So listen, listen. I'm not listen trying to, to not take said. ownership. Mandy, listen to what she said. She's trying to take ownership. Yeah? It's not that... Uh, yeah, of course. I don't want to sit here and make you think that it's fuck you. I said that to you because I was angry at your reaction. Right? Well, just like you said you okay, did no, it because no, no, you no, were don't, angry. Don't mention that part. Don't Fine. mention that part. That, but that's why I did that. And I'm sorry if it hurt your feelings. And I'm crying... Because I can't believe we're here. Okay, so stop. I don't want to be on this fucking podcast doing this with you. I would rather be sitting in private, okay. spending any fucking dollar I could to make it work. Well, then we and I, whoa, and whoa, I, I do I, I, I feel like there are things you. that are said on the mic. Okay, stop, stop. That, that's no, not, that's no, and that's kind. fine. No, but I know this is true okay. because what what is okay. being said about me and what has that been might, said about might. me is, is a lie. That, that, I sat here. Me wanting to do another show is not me wanting to leave horrible okay, decisions. So me stop. sitting here wanting to wanting to do like I've sat here and we had a conversation. Stop, stop being so self righteous. And that's fine. And I'm not self righteous, but me sitting here knowing that she's sitting here and crying, I get that. But I told her did last you, night, you, yeah. I, and I told you last night, and I'll sit here stop and tell. Screaming. I'll sit here and tell you. I have. I have. Um. I had. My ears done. I'm sorry. I I speak loud. I have um surgery in both of my ears. I have okay. tubes in both of my ears. Okay. So I speak loud. Okay. Um, but I will sit here and say we spoke last night, and I told you, Don't Wheezy. Be no, I told you, Wheezy. 
my issues with you have been dealing with this podcast. And there are yes. under, let me finish. There are underlying issues that you have with me. You think which is, that. No, I know this. My issue brought it up last night. Okay, let me finish. Let you me finish. think that. Let me finish. You brought it up to me last night. You brought it up to me during episode me five. Okay, so wait, 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 wait. You, you wait, brought it up. Me and you both and bring up know, old things when we're in a fight. No, I don't give a fuck you, about shit from before us starting the show. No, you only, you bring it up. Oh, look what you've done. No. Well, let me ask she's you lying right now okay. on the show but in front of I me. Didn't say that. I didn't we did just talk last Stop. night. Stop. We spoke last Stop. night, bro. Yes. You know what I think? I think you can't tolerate the fact that she might actually care about you. She doesn't. We t- we spoke last night, so why do we do and she show? wanted to make sure that certain things were not brought up because she still feels ways what? about things that we. Yes, you put me in a book. I didn't want to talk about it because you were why fucking you? shitty for we that. Weren't that's friends. Friends. What book? We weren't friends. And that's what I didn't want to bring up. I didn't want to say we anything. It doesn't friends. matter. You we fucking were not friends. friends. Okay, so how about this? We were not. That's friends. what I didn't want to bring up. Wait, this wait, is listen. bullshit. Okay, so how because see, that's what I'm saying. You can't sit here and tell me you feel one way on a mic and you're sitting here crying because you want to understand me when we've I'm talked, crying because we, I'm angry we, that we're we here. We've talked in okay, privacy. Okay. And I've tried. Okay. She listen. sat here and called. She hasn't listen. cared about how I felt. How? And I'm the one who called you. you get loud I'm like the one this, who called I'm you last week. I'm the one that you d- I, I've, I've okay. seen I'm you. the one who asked to do therapy. So again, you, I don't listen. care about you. No reciprocity. How about this? If we cannot come to some kind of resolution within the next five minutes and is it five minutes or four minutes and seven seconds then just throw in the towel. What do you want from me to feel better? Like, that's what I need you to no, tell did, me. Did, did you that's why I'm like, crying what? because when I said sorry to you, you all you whoa, said is I don't care. Whoa, 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 whoa. So what do you want me to, what do you want from me? That's why I'm crying because I feel like I will never get anywhere with you and I feel like I'm looking at the end because I'm sitting here really telling you I'm sorry. You don't look me in the eye. You turn your face from me when I'm sorry and okay. the tears come out because I'm seeing that it's over because you just don't, you don't believe me. Okay, so stop, stop. Okay. You don't. So Mandy, why do we do it then? Mandy, Mandy, what three things do you need from her going forward in order for this relationship to continue? Because she's putting it in your lap now. Yes. You're the one who has this laundry list, your receipts, as they call mm-hmm. it, of things that she's, how she's wronged you, and you yes. want to stand behind that, and you want to be the person who is right. So can we shed that for now and come up with three concrete things that you need from her in order for this relationship to be maintained. And please don't be accusatory. No, I don't have to be. Um, For one, it would 1,000% be the communication. Um, Can you be more specific? So the communication as far as we've sat here in this room and when I talk, before I can sit here and say what I mean, she's responding to respond. So Wait, 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 she's responding to what? She's she's responding to respond. Or I'm sorry, she's listening to respond. She's not listening to listen. And I genuinely feel over the last year and a half with this business, whether it's from ideas, whether it's from disagreements that we've had off air, on air, I genuinely feel like she listens to me to respond. Okay. Do you think so? No, 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 Mandy. Excuse me. Weezy. Let her finish. And no, that's not why she doesn't believe that you cried. So what you're saying, I'm going to reframe it, is you want to be heard. That is why... You yell so loudly in addition to my surgery, the, the, yeah, but right, you want to be heard by her? Um, and just say yes, it, it, and okay, I'll say yes because you want to, but there's no way to. to wow, to you are really kind of so. I imagine I, I kind of know what, what, what Wheezy feels like. I'm trying to be kind to you. I'm I'm being thoughtful. I'm saying, I'm paraphrasing it, that you want to be heard. And then you try to obliterate what I say. I actually can. You, you might have something there. Holy cow. I, I do. I do get that. And, and I will say, in part, it probably is from my bias because I do don't believe a lot of things that she says to me when she does try to be kind. So I will say that that is something that I possibly do do. Okay. And I, and I will admit to that 1000%. Okay. So it seems to me that there is a lack of trust. 1000%. Okay. So trust needs to be a real built, which is difficult, but I have a feeling that trust overall is an issue in your life or a lack of thereof. I would disagree with that. Okay. I have very long-standing relationships with 
with friends, with family, with like I would disagree with that. Okay, you can. You can I, agree I have very you loyal people. Are you trusting of many? I'm. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> I mean, goddamn, do you think of, I have a PhD because no, I right, give right, away? Right. No, like, no, I get okay. that. I get that. I get okay. that. Okay, so yes. number one. Yes. You want to be heard. What's yes. number two? Um, number two, and it's something that has happened. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, uh, no, uh, with a long. If you said what what I need from her in order to to make this work. Okay, so can we we can we do this? Yes. Instead of telling me. Yes. Look at Weezy and tell her Weezy. Weezy, this is something that I've said before. No, no. I'm sorry. Um, I don't feel like. What do you need? Don't frame I, it. I need you to meet me halfway with this show. We okay. have a partnership agreement. And no, no, no. You stop, always, stop, and stop, you, stop, you, stop, you, stop, do, you have not. So that's things. fine. Stop, stop, yep. stop, stop. All right. Meet you halfway. Okay. What's the third thing? You, okay. She said we have five minutes. That's all I meant. What? Okay. okay. I wasn't trying to diminish I what you're that, saying. I, I, was, I just felt like there was a lot to unpack. Okay. Because you and I disagree can I, about can, that a lot. Can, can, I, can I be the... Yep. Okay. So I said I was going to go over a couple minutes. Got it. Be present. So you said sure. uh, meeting you halfway with the partnership. Can you be just a little bit more specific? I don't know if this is something that you want to air out. Or That's fine. I will sit here and be 100% honest. Uh, do we want to go there? No, 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 no. Okay. There's not a pro- it's not a problem. I, I genuinely feel in... Thank you. With speaking to her with this what partnership of greeting, what do you need? I need her to meet me fif- halfway in in terms of the business. Okay, so when you of say, this show, when you say the business of the show, can you give me an example in layman's terms? That I have. I, I genuinely feel as though she's great no, on I, this show. You're you're great on this show, and what you bring to this show. Don't say but. No, I'm not saying but. Okay. I think you're great on this show as far as. Um, what you say, your opinion, um, the comedy that you bring to this show. Um, what I would need from you is more on the back end, and it's what I've told you multiple times. I feel okay, like no, as no, far no, as... No, you, you, I'm you, sorry. I, I won't bring up that I've brought it up multiple times. I genuinely feel like in my heart, you have your talent. As far as the legwork to this show... Can you say it in a less hostile I'm sorry. Way? As far as the legwork to this show, I genuinely don't feel like you've put in... Even a quarter of why my would you, Why would you say to the no, vice no, okay. journalist that you appreciate me and that you're lucky stop, to have stop, someone stop, that stop. will pick up when you fall? You said Weezy. that to him. Yep. And I remember you said that to him. And so, wait, now you renege? Yeah. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. So, so you, what did you I not? broke the terms of our agreement, which is for you to say what you needed. And I said so, that. No, you said what she doesn't do. You don't say what you need. You need for her to be more proactive and involved. Yes. Okay. So... Clearly, that is your fort. People say forte is actually fort. You know, teach her. Spell it out. That's what sisterhood and business partnerships are about. If if she's not doing it, perhaps it's because she doesn't think she has a skill or maybe she doesn't think she has a time. You speak to her in a kind way to get it done. I did. You do it again. I haven't. Can I say an example nope. of it? Because I don't nope. think. You, you, nope. You're, you're, you're no, sitting no, no, here no, huffing no. and puffing, but it's very I'm much hu- true. No, so, Mandy. Stop, 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 stop. So you, if first you don't succeed, try, try again. Do you have any children? No. I do don't have, want any. Okay. No, do you have any children? Mine is sitting outside. Do you know how many times I have to fucking repeat myself? And lead by example and guide and show. Sometimes our peers require that. You assume because you're quite defensive and a perfectionist that when people don't do their share, it's because they are being dismissive of you. Perhaps there's another reason. And if you open your heart, not to sound cliche, but open your heart a bit more and try to explore it, maybe you'll get to the core as opposed to being accusatory. Okay. What's number three? Sorry. I, in order for this to go, I need no. you to deepen your heart, truthfully and honestly, the baggage that you're holding. No, nope, stop. That's uh, that's accusatory. But it's, it's no, but that's she accusatory. Said it. That's accusatory. I need for you to say what you need, not what is a deficit, a perceived deficit. Talk about what you need. Make it simple. 
Well, then I'll say I need respect. Okay. Because you know what? Even with all this fluff and all the... Br- she's... You're a little rumpkin bumpkin. You both are. You're so sensitive. You of don't course. know... You think I want Mandy to wait, be wait, upset? Wait, no. But I think that you hide... See, you don't what? even believe me. So why, I don't. Then why do you even ask? Yeah, then... Yeah, can I say something? So why am I here? You're just wasting money. So you did it again. You did it again. Every time she makes an attempt, and I know past behavior informs present behavior and right. your perception, but you've got to give it a try if you want even a modicum of this to work out. You've got to try. You just asked me to let go of baggage. You've, you've got to have a sense of faith. Yes. Yes. Is it to, for you to be soft? I. This is the problem. When I sit here and actually do hurt or actually do show my emotions, then I get, well, you're not even the emo ho. I didn't think you was going to be mad. As a human being, I do hurt. I do get my emotions, like, bothered with. So it bothers me that because I don't sit here and show emotions or, or talk about the men that I love or I don't have these emotions for men, that people just assume that she's going to get over it. She's going to laugh it off. She's not going to be hurt. And I think that's bullshit because I do. Do I sit here and show my emotions as much as others? No. But when I sit here and, and receive something in private and then in front of other people I'm getting a different thing yes I become frustrated yes I can't take it in as genuine because behind closed doors and within our personal conversations I'm over talked to or hung up on we both hung up on each other it goes to levels to where we're just trying to talk over each other and it, there is no resolution so when I come into a place or I sit here and my feelings are actually hurt for that to not be acknowledged for for me to be told you're not getting an apology from me. And for me to get a th- long thread, oh, so now you want to be emotional? You're just overreacting. And it's like, yes, I'm not the one that shows my emotions on this podcast. People bring it up all the time. I'm able to have sex without tying emotions to it. But I do still want a certain level of respect from people. And when my feelings are hurt, specifically from people that I do business with, specifically from people that I help put money into their pockets, that we make money together, from someone that I'm building something strong with, I absolutely want them to know that I am still human and if I'm going to respond away in a way that you knew I would respond because you said you knew I would be upset did you know I would be this stop. upset no but the, fact, but the fact that when I showed my emotions you came to me and was like Bro, well I'm the emo ho you're overreacting that's where I'm hurt like that's okay, bullshit I get it I get it it's you bullshit. contribute to the problem, sweetie. Because I don't show my emotions. I am. I'm very cold, and I don't show my emotions with a lot sweetie, of people. My mom was that way. This is this is how and, I and, am. And, and, no, no, no. No, but it yeah, is. Yeah, it is how you are, but it doesn't have to be the way. It doesn't have to. You don't always have to be that way. And what That's you're fine. doing, listen, is you do yourself a great disservice by presenting yourself as unbreakable. I'll agree to that. Yes. Okay. This, that and was my so, mom. And like, so I, this one, this one, Wheezy, who has a hard ta- time taking responsibility for being hurtful, she's going to hide behind that. Oh, Mandy's tough. So you need to share and be more open. You're asking her to be more open. You need to do the same. And I don't know, maybe this whole podcast, you two being these like brazenly open, sexually, whatever, it, 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 it does you a disservice because it doesn't allow you to be who you truly are. And maybe that's something you two need to build upon with the podcast is you can be brazen. You can have this open sexual energy and connect with people and stop bullshitting yourselves and saying that there's no emotion behind it because that's not true. So how do you feel about the fact that she is crying in front of you? And please be thoughtful. I don't know. Of course. I mean... Slowly. Honestly, I'm surprised. I thought I would be the one, and I did, to cry. I, it, I'm i crying. Look at it. You're crying. I feel so bad. You know, I feel really bad that you feel like this. And, okay. And no, no, I feel bad that you really think no, that. Say, I, say, I feel badly that you think I hurt you. Yes. Say it. I feel badly that you think I hurt you. And I'm, I think I said and it earlier. And I feel badly that I did hurt you because you have done some Of course. I feel badly easy. that I did hurt you. I feel badly that 
you know, you said, because I'm not emotional, you knew I would react that way. No, I didn't. I feel badly that I responded with you that way. Sometimes I do have to be softer to you. But I think I've just felt maybe, I don't know what the word is. I Maybe I didn't feel remorse because I was already harboring feelings for things that I feel like I went through on this show. For the most part on the show, I feel like I'm the one who's super emotional. So when you reacted that way and went crazy, yes, I was like, fuck you, because I felt like you said, fuck me. I just, the so, one thing that I could ever right. say that I want from you is just to call me first. And I feel like the reason I've been so upset with you is because when we talk, you bring up other people. A King said, stop, my stop, friends stop. say, okay. Van says, Maul says, I don't care. I want to know what you think. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Are you taking in everything she's saying? Cause I am. I got to say. It appears quite genuine to me. Can you accept her apology? And I need for you to tap into the softer part of yourself, not the cold mother pushing people away. This is your opportunity. There's a lot going on in my head right now. Why would I want to come on here stop, and stop, cry stop. in front of you stop, and all these stop. people in the room There's... if I didn't mean it? Okay, stop. Mandy, it's hard. It's hard. But I need for you to embrace the fact that Wheezy is actually being genuine and caring. I can acknowledge that. Okay. Can you say it to her, not to me? I don't... I can sit here and say I'm acknowledging what you're saying. Man, and I'm going to stop hard. there because I know okay. that I'm not able to say a okay. but. Then that's something. Then that's something. Right, which is... So I, I, no, want, no. I want to say... I, I do appreciate you acknowledging... And us getting to where we are right now, because I feel like it's been a huge detriment to how we have been communicating over the last year and a half. We sat here at episode five, ready to give in. We've sat here at episode 16, 17, ready to give in. Right. We've sat here at episode 30 and, try, and, and, and almost given in. So you sitting here and acknowledging that, I, I, I appreciate that. And moving forward... If this is something to where you can sit here and look at me as a human being, even if it's someone that you don't like, look at me as that human being, knowing that I have feelings, knowing that I have emotions. And even if we're not friends, those three close friends to you, look at me. And when you do things, I just want you to say, would my three best friends like if I did this to them? But what about because even me? though no, we're no, no, not no. friends, even though we're not friends, Wheezy, this is this is a business. This time, and stop, this, stop, no, stop. no, not only that, stop. I feel like our relationship and the things that we go through are much more than a marriage. Okay. They're much more than a friendship. Okay, so They're much more than a lot of other types of relationships. Mandy, 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 Weezy, Mandy, are you going to do the same? Yes. Say yes. to her. Yes. Because you've told yes. me. Yes. No, moving no, forward. You, you wouldn't. Moving, moving. Mo you said you're that? the only person. We were in that meeting with Chris Weezy, and Aking. Yes, Weezy, we were. You Weezy, told me. We were. I treat back. you like this. You're the only stop person. It. I, I, I absolutely Weezy. stand by that. I have, Mandy, okay. Mandy, stop. 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 You see, we She's can't. She's throwing me under the bus. No, I'm oh, not. Oh, oh, I said oh, you told me you can't do this for me. Oh, my God. To my face. I literally have one minute. That's fine. You just did it. You just did it. You had a breakthrough. And then you can't tolerate the feel-good emotions. You can't. What was said? I need for you to say that going forward, you're going to extend to her the same respect that you deserve and want. And don't tell me you've always demonstrated. No, no, that's fine. But say, no, no, I, no, no, no we'll say it. Can I sit here and say that there was a misunderstanding? And I want to. That has to be clear before we move forward. I sat here and said that that is something that I'm willing to do. What was misconstrued and what was said was that I don't have this energy 
or interaction or relationship with anyone the way that I do you in my life currently. Yeah, you said that, that is what was said. You said that's so, why I treat you this way. I don't treat you away. We have no you, way of communication. Okay, okay but you, we've already so, gotten past right, that. Right, we've so, gotten past okay, that. Okay. So okay, that's so what I'm telling you. How is can, that I'm sitting here you. telling you to your face that I'm willing to do that, and I have, but in terms of... Not the but. Stop. I'm willing to do that, and I have. Are you willing to work with her as well? Absolutely. Okay, so this guy's falling asleep. I have a headache. I've got to say, this is way past my bedtime. Mine too. Thank you for coming. Can I shake your hand now? I don't know I why don't... you didn't <laughs> shake my hand. Because <laughs> we tend not to. Therap I mean, just, my therapist gets uncomfortable said... when I hug her after, so I get it. Huh. You go to therapy. All, all the time. Holy cow. Does, does, she, does this person listen to your podcast? Actually, I had a therapist I found, a black woman, and I literally Googled African-American therapist, and she sent me a message and said, I, so I, I had vented about Mandy before, about when we had our first argument and what should I do. And she said, after listening to your show, I feel biased and I can't help you anymore. She said that she started listening to our reactions with each other, and now she felt like she would take a side because she's heard it instead of just being my therapist. That's, That's so very bizarre. It's all fodder. Well, she let me go because she started listening to the show. All right. You each need to find someone to talk to. I think that there's a brilliance and a magic that can be uh, developed and maintained if you allow yourselves to be more vulnerable. And, you know, all the sexual escapades as a clinician, it says to me that there's a, a, a fear of that. Of communication? No, of being vulnerability. vulnerability. Oh, sure. Especially with each other when we're... Well, yeah, that well, that's plain. It's not day. easy to be Obvious. vulnerable and take ego out of something when you have a camera and mics in What your camera? Face. No, no, no. Every, every week. It's oh. not easy for us to be vulnerable, I think, with each other, which is... I try. But you it's not easy. You gotta try harder. You There's... gotta try harder because you're, you're quite de well defended and it's like... You could make my brain just like actually internally combust trying to keep up with you and your verbiage. So, and I say that because it's indicative of, of an intelligence in you, it can be kind of terrifying if one were to be scared. So, I, I'm not going to ask for a hug, but can you at least give each other a handshake? No, of course. Yeah. Like, okay, that's weird. So, how about a hug? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. That's, Let's give I a mean, hug. that's fine. That's a hug, fine. a hug, a hug, a hug. Long overdue. <laughs> Long overdue. Well, you guys can Instagram this. <laughs> for real, for real. And I don't want to be called in again. <laughs> and I adore the both of you. Thank you. And I need for you to call each other on the phone. No more. No more texting. It's so important. Okay. I think that's a good rule. Please. Go. I'm going to start crying. Yeah, I don't, Can I I'm both crying of you again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I'm having a uh, Okay. This is, <laughs> this is like my number one rule. Oh, all God. Good, all good, this all is good. so, Thank this is so a lot. You're so very welcome, sweetie. Thank you. Thank you. After some lady that I didn't want on this show. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah that's why. <laughs> 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 so we're all just going to give each other hugs. I guess as many of you guys who listen to the show have picked up <laughs> through the tension and the jabs and the shade that we throw on a weekly basis, um, this has been a long time coming um, for everyone who was writing to us saying that the demise of horrible decisions was to an end and blaming Andrew and blaming guys for getting between us. I want you to guys to know that that has not happened. You know what um, I think we should ask for? Sorry to cut you off, but if you're listening to this and you made it towards the end. And I, think I don't can, know how they made it to the end. I Jesus think you can Christ. understand that me and Mandy have been very influenced. And I think you'd agree by when someone writes us something, it's very hard not to respond. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling better right now. I don't know if you are. I feel like you understand that it was hard for me to get the sorry out, and I did. And um, I, and I, I, and I really want to say, what I, I didn't think I would get that from you. And so while, 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 while I know, like, 
the energy with her here and you not wanting other people in the room and genuinely the last two weeks and what has transpired, not only did I come in here not wanting that apology, I felt like I didn't want the apology for what happened on flagrant, but you really acknowledging that I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, you no, no, but you acknowledging that you know you you understand now where I'm coming from and that I am human and that I was really more hurt not even with the joke but everything that transpired after and yes I'm cold hearted yes I don't show emotions a lot like but you sitting here acknowledging the fact that I did and maybe you could have responded differently I appreciate that no you're right knowing, I, I appreciate knowing you that. and knowing you you were upset I feel like Mandy reacted and I reacted like Mandy. Like, I, there are certain ways we should handle that, our that friends. That actually is exactly how you re- I said fuck you. You actually reacted exactly how I would have reacted to anything else. And you know why like, I did Like, you're it? overreacting. The only reason I called you is because I knew that hurt came from you thinking I didn't defend you. And I thought that if I brought up what happened after, that you would know that I genuinely felt like you would be hurt. I asked him, and I, and I think Andrew, not, not to shade Andrew. But he started making me feel like you would think it wasn't a big deal. Right? I said, Mandy's going to be pissed. Can I Can I tell you real quick in your face? Because, bitch, you have known me since I was 14, 15 years old. Real quick, because I want to throw this out there real quick. Because you've said often that you didn't know if it was true or not. My nigga, and I'll sit here and say, because my nigga, you've known me since I was 16. Did you see the way real I was Real quick, going, Mandy. I don't give a fuck. The camera's wrong. Hysteric. I really I didn't think it in the moment. My nigga. Even Cass my nigga, my nigga, think. let's go back to me being 16 years fucking old. Stop and I don't, it. No, don't be rude. I, I'm going to be. You know Stop. goddamn well. Real quick. I wouldn't let that nigga suck on my titties. So for you to really sit here and say you didn't know, you know goddamn well that I have, I would never did you fuck out When you saw the video, did you think? Did that? Did you and think for a second that I didn't? Com- comical. Hi- I'm gonna tell you why. I was already too mad to. Andrew to was sitting. I, I mean, Alex was sitting right there, and I looked at him like, "What?" And then Alex is doing this face like, "Ugh, I can't Bruh, believe he's saying." I get it. it. I get it. It's a joke. But my nigga, I'm talking to you as someone not in podcasting, as someone who's known me since I was 16 years old. You know, goddamn well, I would have never bro, fucked when Alex. Alex bro. came to the first episode that we did with Anthony. Uh, we both were like, oh, he's cute. I thought maybe it happened, but I don't know. I didn't know what was going on in my head. It just felt so real, bruh. How many times I talk about my height limit, bro? <laughs> like, that nigga not even six foot. Chill, bro. No, but in real life, and I think that that's why when you came at me, like, I didn't know if it was real. I went, I went back to us being 16 years old, Wheezy. And you were like, because you know a whole bunch of niggas that I have fucked. And not now one resembles, looks, is in the pay grade I, of I, Alex. I, 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 okay, pay grade. Wait, I mean, my, wait, bad, wait, my, bad, my bad, my bad, I, my bad, my bad, my bad. Alex, that's fine. Alex that's fine. I just nice. want to say, that's fine. Alex I, is really nice. Do you know sure. what started going through my head? We had argued about things without because we were deciding what we wanted to do a video. Do we need this expense? Do we do this? Whatever. I was like, maybe this is why she be getting so mad at him and be talking to him so spicy because they fucked. You don't understand what I was thinking in my head. That is exactly why towards the end because they had me so convinced. I said to him, did you really fuck Mandy? And by the way, they thought it was cut off. He said, we have to leave that in there. So it's it's in there. But here's what happened and why I think I... I was surprised at your reaction. When I was sitting with Andrew, I was like, dude, we got to take it out. He's like, we would have to cut out the whole episode. Trust me. This is a podcasting format. This is going to be great. People are going to click. This is going to be okay. And you know how Andrew made you. Andrew diffused the situation with you and him. So you can understand how he did it with me. I did feel better. So I thought when I I I I texted you and said. Andrew got the gift of gab. Fuck your gift of gab. (laughs) Andrew got the whole ass gift of gab. He, when I texted you that night. And I said, hey, don't worry. This is going to be okay. It was because it was right after I text. I had got off the phone with Andrew. I think right when he got out the car. And I was saying, we shouldn't do this, blah, blah, blah. Um, it made me text you because I said, let me diffuse this so she'll feel better. Because what would I think if I was sitting there when I got called twice? People yep. said there was a prank. I was so I said, at, I was let work. me just make her feel better. Right? Let me just say this right now. And then when you heard it to have been so upset. I don't know if you would have called me. I no, and, and, and I, I mean, I don't want to give any more shine than we have to to that situation. Oh, oh wait, wait, no. I, I Be- said this to say, I don't want you guys to sit here and then listen to this and say who else was wrong more. 
Like, I think that that's going to be worse to continue this conversation. And I want to try to make a commitment. I'm going to say try because I feel like someone's going to tell me, oh, well, you hate that bitch. And I'm going to have to reply. I really say, yo, but we're going to do it anyway. I don't want it to keep going. And I feel like this is better and and it's good. I mean, I don't know. I think and the only reason I got mad at you and I said the everyone thing is because. I wanted you to feel like this is good between me and you, not because someone which else. Which is which is what I want. So, moving forward. Um, so yeah, please don't sit and talk in no, the comments. No, that's fine. Just no, say nice I mean, things. even in the comments, I, I, they're going to say what they're going to say. There's trolls. People people uh, feel the need to choose between us. Um, and as everyone has reiterated to us, this show could not be this show without the two of us. Um, and so... Whether you was about to audition for my role, uh, whether I was going to do anything else, um, I do just want to reiterate that more so than anything, what me and Wheezy have been able to bring to the culture, to the lives of our listeners, to the couples, to the single people, to the virgins, I think that that means way more to both Wheezy and I um, than I think anything well, that's what keeps with, us with from anything. It's literally the only reason. Um, and I've said it multiple times that our listeners and the emails and how we have touched people all over the world. Cause Jesus Christ, it's, it's global is, is why I stay and why I'm willing to sit here across from, I'm not going to say your government, but Wheezy WTF and, and try to, to get this, this thing going. Um, right. also furthermore, um, I do want to just give a quick shout out because they're really good friends of mine, Maul, Rory, and the Joe Budden podcast. I listened to that episode before they got their Spotify deal and Joe sat there and said that they didn't record one week because they yelled in a parking lot because yeah. they could not agree creatively, it's funny, creatively. You, you, I reached out to other, other podcasters too. Um, I, Rory, Rory, I talked to as well. Um, this happens, but it, but you know what? I, I like that people could. And even my friends, the three closest ones I've talked to, everyone was able to be unbiased with me and give me opinions. I had to take my ego out of a lot of things because, like I was saying, your reaction made me want to re- it made me right. go back and forth. And it's not easy with social media, you know. Right. Agreed. Pe- people saying things to you and getting in your head. And I'm glad we have those friends that are doing bigger things than us that we can come to. We're lucky for that. And I think I only mentioned everyone because. I guess it doesn't make me feel good when you would say everyone is telling me this is good and that I shouldn't leave. I don't want people to have to tell you that. But it's it's also the listeners, which is which is why I brought that up. Like right. what when and I'm not going to dig into things that I've hated that were said between either of us, but I will say that even starting this this podcast in the very beginning, I was taking seven classes. I was working a lot of hours. Yeah. I said, Weezy, I know you want to do this, but in six months, if we ain't getting money, I'm out. And then I, I said like, that. I'm ready before that. We we were ready before that. We weren't bringing in money. We're, we're not even seeing that a lot now. Too. She mentioned something about me not wanting you to go. And of course, I don't want you to leave. But when I brought up the other show, I think that. The first time you said it to me was when we were feeling heated after that New York live show. That was the first time you said it to me. So even if you thought about it before, we weren't talking about it. And I only said what I said on Van, not to make it seem dismissive, but because you are a bigger social media person than me. So I know that you will do more things than me. You've talked about wanting to do shows or BT or pilots or whatever. And I I want you to know that I you being great, and you doing great things doesn't hurt anything we do. And I and I want you to be great. I don't want you to not do your own thing. And I I think when I was angry about it, it was because I felt like you were doing it to say, well, fuck it. Maybe I could just kick this to the curb and do something else. Because that's – you never brought it up to me otherwise. Right. We were arguing and then you brought it up. Right. Like – and and that's why when I said I would shout it out always is because when you said you were going to leave and then you mentioned another show – and people were like, oh, how could she do this? I was like, I would to the death of me be like, it, it wouldn't matter how you reacted towards me. Because people listen for me and you and both of us. I, w- I want you to win. You, you're you going to start this other podcast? I, I want I, it to do well. I, I'm going I to really, it. I want it to do Because this ended so well, I, I don't want this conversation to keep going the way it's going right now. No, I'm just saying that I, I want everything you do to be good. And I don't want you to I think like from that listening to that. that. And I, I, I appreciate that. That I meant that. it in a shitty way because uh, I don't mean it in that way. 
that's just, all I, that's the only thing I want to say. I'll, I'll, I'll take it at face value right now for what you're saying. I appreciate that. Um, uh, again, because I don't, I don't want to spiral this into a whole nother fucking discussion or debate. No, I agree. Um, but uh, again, whether um, Wheezy goes and decides she wants to be creative in her own little space or whether I want to go into the corner in my own little space and create more. Um, again, I just want to say that horrible decisions um, will continue and will continue to bring the content, the kinks, um, and the guests that you guys love. So... Um, I guess we're going to go ahead and wrap that up. This is way longer than it needed to be. Oh, if you guys hear an episode, Ma- Mandy was uh, in Chicago for a while and traveling a lot this summer. If you hear an episode with me alone, it was pre-recorded. It does not mean we're breaking up. It, it, we just had it sitting there, and now everything is blown up. So we've been worried about putting it out because we're like, what are they going to think? Uh, there will be an episode soon to come where Mandy was out of town, so I recorded it. And if you guys do hear separate episodes ever, please understand that Mandy works a lot. I don't even. I, I used to work more than more hours than you. Now I don't. Well, because I was taking seven classes and working. It, I, Mandy I, works is, a lot. So it is we, Thursday. I'm at fifty five hours. That's it's Thursday, that's and I'm supposed to be working Saturday and Sunday. If you so. hear those, though, it's just because we don't want to leave you guys with a day without content, and we've made commitments to do that. Some of you complain about, oh, you pre recorded shit. This is something that we're doing just so every Monday you can still have horrible decisions. We don't want to leave you out. We don't want to be inconsistent. So if one day you hear Mandy without me, or you hear me without Mandy you don't have to trip freak ask why it's happening like we don't only podcast most of the podcasts I feel like we all listen to that's all they do they're creatives they don't have to work nine to five we still do and so that's why sometimes schedules are conflicting that's why you may hear solo things and I just want to clear that up if you hear it soon enough all right, so we're going to go ahead and um, say this oh, since been- we're not breaking up Patreon you can give us five dollars a month for more <laughs> bullshit <laughs> Uh, I guess we'll say this has been yet another episode of Horrible Decisions. Bye. Bye.